new single out start of September officially. What can people expect from all the wrong places? Uh, all the wrong places. I reckon just you know it's about having a good time. It's about festivals and clubs and pubs. But at the same time, if you want to work out to it, that's good too. If you want to play it in the car, that's good. Uh, if you want to get the cleaning done really quickly at home, stick it on for that. It's quite an energetic song. Uh, and lyrically, I know what it's about. It means something to me, but I've written it in such a way that it could mean one thing to one person and one thing to another person. Beautiful. Um, well, as well, new album. We've got sort of a preliminary uh, release date early next year. Mm -hmm. um, what can people expect from it? You said it's influenced by Chemical Brothers, The Prodigy. Is it another big change in style for you? Uh, yeah, it's different from my last four albums. Every one of my albums has had a slight difference in sound. The first album was probably the most different. That was very much just a hip hop album. The second album was more uh, me experimenting with singing and electro pop. Third record was a bit more inspired by trance and dubstep. Fourth record was inspired by rock and guitars. And this record, I've sort of gone back and listened to a lot of the early Prodigy, Chemical Brothers, Underworld, a bit of Faithless. And I kind of don't, I don't want to try and reference that as such. I just want to or copy it. I want to do it's like a starting point, and I want to do like a futuristic take on all of that. But a lot of the, the records on this album sound like spaceships, either landing or t you know taking off. And um, you know, lyrically, it's this is a party record. I just want people to be able to put this album on on a Friday night and listen to it till Sunday morning. I've never felt the need to change. It's just like to stay you know, interested and excited in your job, but it's just, I suppose it's just me just experimenting and expressing myself. It's like, I never wanted to be a musician, so I was never part of a scene as such. I never, you know, was like, really, you know, I didn't associate myself with the rap scene. I didn't associate myself with the grunge scene or the jungle scene or the garage scene, but I liked all of these individual things. And when I made my first rap record, that was only because I, I knew a hip hop producer. I didn't know a dance producer. I didn't know, I didn't have a band. If I'd have maybe had, maybe had a band, my first record might have been a metal album. You know, if, I, if I'd have known a electro producer, my first album might have been electro, but I knew a hip hop producer. And then as I've gone through the, the world traveling and through my career meeting different people, you meet different producers and songwriters who inspire you to do different things and you discover new records, whether they're modern records or records from the 70s or the 80s. And I just think, why don't I try something like that? Why don't I try something like that? So for me, with music, it's like, I'm kind of on this journey where I'm just having fun and making stuff up as I go along, because I'm not classically trained. Mm. You know, I, I didn't even start singing until about four years ago. So I'm just always learning and, you know, somehow it just seems to work and people like it. Do you think rap is something you'd ever go back to? Because you said you got a bit bored with it. Um, there's no rapping on the fifth album. And the reason for that is uh, I just wanted a break from it. It's like I've never really felt like part of a rap scene or a hip hop scene or a grime scene, even though I've collaborated with artists from those scenes. For me, it's like I like rapping. It's not like I don't enjoy it. I like listening to rap records by other people. It's just, I suppose it's like a form of expression. And for me, making, you know, really uplifting dance music and singing, or even a bit of spoken word like there is in this new album. That's like what feels most natural for expressing myself at the moment. When I'm on stage and I'm bouncing around and jumping around and shouting and singing and hyping up the crowd, I don't really see myself as a rapper or an MC or a singer even. I just see myself as an entertainer.